the status of remote services upload, also called device direct, on a Xerox VersaLink system. Go to the system's webpage and log in as admin. And after you log in, look for the system menu on the left column and click on that. And in the middle of the page, you will see remote services upload. And on this page, we'll sh you will see the status of the last upload attempt. And it may, uh, and you can test it by clicking upload now just to confirm. Now, if the upload fails, or if the status shows that the upload has failed, there are two common reasons for this. One of them is there is a, something in the firewall that is blocking the communication to the Xerox server. Ah, very good. This test was successful. The other reason the test might not be successful is the DNS configuration on the Xerox may not match the uh, required DNS services for your network. You can find DNS settings by clicking on connectivity, then choose either Ethernet or Wi-Fi depending on which interface you're using. Scroll down until you see DNS on the right and check whether domain is correct and the DNS servers are correct. If not, click edit and change them to what they should be. You can test for uh, the correct DNS servers by using a command prompt and selecting ipconfig-all, pardon me, ipconfig space forward slash all or type ns lookup and you will get the IP address of your primary DNS server. You can also add other servers or public servers as well. So after the uh, settings are correct, press OK, boot your system and test the remote services upload again.